fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about DC Universe Batman Nightmare Edition. This is a McFarlane store exclusive, limited to 8,100 pieces. So if we look at the package, we see this gold and black marble looking background, the bat symbol and the words in gold on the side. The marble continues on the back. We see the Batman Hellbat armor. On the side here, we have the gold lettering words, Batman Nightmare Edition. So if I pull out my scale, we'll see that this is coming in at one pound, 4.2 ounces. So let's get it off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that I have it out of the box, we'll take a look at the card first. Here we have the card with the artwork. And here we have the certificate of authenticity. I am 1285. Very nice. So, the Hellbat armor comes with this nice card stand that has the Batman logo on it. Card just fits right in there. There we go. Now, we also have these Hellbat wings that simply just clip onto the back. They have a one fold, just like the prior version. You have one for each side. Now, if we bring in the Hellbat armor just to get a closer look at this, we can see the black and gold versions. Nice mask here with this shiny black armor type, and then the rest of it's kind of matte finished till we get down to the which are more shiny. On the back, we see all this armor is shiny. spikes here on the shoulder and the spikes on the glove, the gauntlet here with these spikes and then the, even the knee guards are little bat type kneecaps. There are feet, look at those armor pieces there. Very nice detail for the figure. It is nice and big, nice tall figure. So if we get a nice look at the figure here, we see this black gold shiny in the main armor on the sides here. We have more muted black. Go back down to the hands and feet. We get more shiny armor. Nice gold inlays all the way around for this figure. Once again, the back shows the midsection is shiny black, while the rest is more matted finish. Very nice details for this figure. Now, if we look at articulation, the head doesn't really come up, but goes down a little bit. The right and left. Now, it has this gap here, or this extra part for the head so you might need to grab it right here to more turn it as far as arms go nice t-pose forward and back it does have this armor here on a ball joint he does have a bicep swivel double bend or single bend in the elbow it does have this ball joint Hinge here, you can see it right there. It does allow for the wrist to rotate and go back and forth. Now, as far as ab crunch goes, this guy's got a pretty good one. Forward a little bit, a little bit of a gap. Does have a waist swivel and does a very good Von Damme split. Forward and back, 
pretty good motion. Double bend in the knee, has this ball jointed ankle. And the toe bend, very cool. Now it does have two holes on the back for this fat armor. They simply just go in there and they fold so you can store them. Here we go. Now this makes the figure definitely top heavy. So you will need a stand, and this one comes with a rather large stand with one peg hole here. Simply just insert him in, and there, now he can take up more space on your shelf. Yeah, a very nice figure. I love the uh, concept, and this is uh, labeled as the Injustice version of the Hellbat armor, hence the darker mo motif. Now with these wings spread out here, and without knocking him over, well, I'll try to do that real quick, not the knocking over part, the not knocking over part. Now the wings are coming out to 13 and 3 quarter inches. So it, it is a large shelf presence there. So just be forewarned. Now the Hellbat armor itself is coming in right at 7 and 3 quarter inches tall. Like I said, you can just fold it up like that and make a little less room, or you can have it fully extended. Now, if I bring in the original version of the Hellbat armor, we can see it is the same mold, just different paint apps. And depending on which color you like better, the red or the gold will be up to you. Now, this one is just released on McFarlandToyStore.com. So you can head over there if you want to pick it up. This version you'll have to find on um, third party or second party, hand-me-downs, whatever. But you would definitely have to shop around for him. So, if you like Batman, if you like any type of collectible, use the link below to head on over to EntertainmentEarth.com to save some money. And who doesn't like to save some money? So remember... Shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.